Hi everyone, today we're going to do a Cheryl Cole Fight For This Love inspired makeup look and the reason we're doing it is because she's going to be performing on The X Factor and I've read in paper she's nervous a lot of people have been asking for this look and so what a better time so off we go, I hope I've done it okay plenty of bronzer and then it comes around and then I put lashes on fire and I'm going to do the other eye as well so let's hope it fits and everything goes well Okay, so first I'm starting with some L'Oreal Glam Bronze. This is a split combo, so what I'm hoping to do is catch most of this one here. So just get that on the brush like that. And it doesn't show up very well, but here we go. So you're going to go over the eye and up. And this is the look she has on in the start of the video. She's wearing pyjamas. So that's what people are asking for. It's quite a fun look. Very strong cheekbones. Just pouring that powder on. Doesn't matter if you get it on your eye, in your eyebrow, because it comes right out and around. So we're going to get to that in a minute. But we're going to keep going up and into the hair. I'm trying not to get any of the pink, because it's not really a pink look. It's more of a... Um, a bronze look so just keep going back and forth with the bronze get it in heavy because it's very light as you can see it's hardly showing up to get this side I had to put a canny bit on so let's keep going don't come down into the eye area go right out into the hair because we're going to bring it down And then it's off a go. So bringing it right down. See it's got bronze right round. And it doesn't look a huge difference. But when you look at it in a minute. I'm going to have a line there soon. And you'll see it stands out. It's starting to come together. Really chunky and sharp across the cheekbone. She's got great cheekbones, and I'm having to ad lib a little with these ones, but you know, kind of in the direction we need to go. So, get some more on there. Oh, and I've also found a hairpiece. This is actually something I bought when I was doing the book, and I forgot about it, and I bought it from Hot Hair which is at Selfridges and I like it I don't know about you but I do right primer I'm just going to stick some of my own primer on Oop, that's the palette fell out I'm going to stick my own primer on just quickly get it on the eye there you only want to go a little way up not too far just come up just past the crease and then blend it out and you can see how much that bronzer has took look we've got some stuff to put there though some highlight so we'll get that on in a minute come under the eye just a little bit with what's left on your finger of the primer there we go then once we've done that take an eyeshadow brush and I'm thinking take a silvery brown she's wearing so we're going to dip into the antique pewter there I'm going to get that all over the eyelid just stick it on however heavy you like because we're going to blend it in a minute every time I look at this colour it just reminds us like a moth you know when you squash a moth and you get dust in your hands or dust on your hands that's what it reminds me of very mothy looking I think so just get that on and then that gives you that silvery grey brown look that we need. You don't want to go too high. Once we've done that, where have I put it? Uh, blender brush. Just blend it out. Just give it a really good blending. See, so there's no harsh line. It's blended right up and out. I 
now we're going to take this is the fun part and it tickles like crazy but you want some depth to your, la your eye so open the eye and then stick the liner black creamy preferably you don't want a sharp eyeliner when you're doing that because it would really hurt the skin so you want a black creamy one get it right in there and right to the front and then we're going to take it there's not much left of this which I'm really upset about because I love it it's tiny that's all I've got left just gently pull the eye and then get a nice thick coating as close to the lash line as possible the reason I'm not using the liquid liner is because I want this line to look smooth and creamy where the liquid liners tend to dry and go like a matte hard finish so I'm going to bring that right out like that and then we're going to bring it along the lower lash line as well and on the water line which is the wet part of the eye now I'm running out of pencil there it's completely dyed on us so I'm going to just use this it's from Sephora and again it's a creamy black liner and I'm just going to follow on where I left off now Cheryl's eyes are a lovely shape so I'm going to try and create them to kind of come thicker on the outer corner and then thin it as you come in and on the video she comes right into the inner corner with like a slight cut kind of tick almost there you go and then I'm going to stick some white pencil hang on where's it gone we'd have it in front of us it's by NYX I'm going to just get the black off that it's white and you usually put it on your waterline to make your eyes look bright and wide awake you can get pink ones and you can get flesh color ones but I'm just using this basically in the inner corner just to bring it and highlight it a bit now I'm going to get some lashes on because that's the fun part isn't it so I'm using where have I put it natural lights and they're absolutely gorgeous I like natural looking ones she's got massive lashes I don't know if they're real or fake or what but I don't have them so I'm gonna pretend so get your little lash I've already measured them they fit me luckily I'm just gonna gently put a little bit of glue that come in the glue stick on the edges of them like that so you've got a nice layer of it look Put, just steady that let it dry a little has to go tacky or it'll just be a nightmare I learned the hard way and had them slipping all over and left glue everywhere so let them go tacky and then here we go bend see so really get a good grip and it also nice and it, it, they apply the eye a bit easier as well if they're not stiff so off we go so we're gonna just put that on top of the lash line on top of our eyelashes And just stuff it and stick it as you go bear in mind the glue is drying all the time so if you need to make any little movements do it as soon as you can and there you have it a nice set of false lashes 
Now we're going to get the brows. The brows are not the darkest of brows this time. She usually got really dark brows, but just going to use the dark one again. I think it was no, it wasn't. It was the light one I used. So I'm using the light one today with a bit of um, it's a Paula Dorf. Off. Just, just gently draw in. This is just to keep these nice and smooth and in shape, really. So I've got that that. Now for the fun part, which I didn't do before, which I should have done. I have a little brush. Where's it gone? Tiny little brush, look. Nice shape at the front. I've got pink opal pigment. But any kind of pink pearlescent cheek highlight, I will work fantastic. Tiny bit on the brush. And I'm just basically swooshing it along there. So you've got just above your cheekbones. And then into this kind of triangle shape. Just to highlight. You don't want a great deal, just a little tiny bit. And then you get that lovely kind of two-tonal shimmer. Now for the lips, this is the fun part, because we're nearly done. I'm using Model Co, and this is quite funky because it comes with a mirror. And if you're in a cab or a taxi, look, it lights up. So, look at that. bit more Ooh. isn't that brilliant look at it and you can do you can see whatever you're doing in the back of the taxi or car preferably not if you're driving not a bad color either possibly could be a bit more pink for the look but there you go I hope you enjoy enjoyed my shower call fight for this love makeup inspired tutorial right coming up next some wacky wacky color ones which have been requested on twitter zoom zoom <laughs>